Hey, what's up? It's so now welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. And today we're gonna be blasting Philadelphia's mighty, crushing, filthy, piss grave suicide euphoria on Profound Lore Records. This cemetery is sick as fuck. It's like in Southwest Philly. It's semi abandoned and yeah, awesome place to take a promo photo. And expect some new material in uh, 2018 from the putrefaction of Piss Grave and Philadelphia. But seriously, one of the best death metal bands that just needs to play live more. Like, I just. Fuck! They're so goddamn good. Like, ah. Uh, Piss Grave, Suicide Euphoria. And their demo on Graceless Recordings, holy fuck, they need to reissue that beast. But, um, today I want to talk about one of, well, yeah, one of my favorite demos, but this comes with two demos. And, uh, I made an order from Hell's Headbangers, if you watched the video yesterday, then, um, you know I picked up the Amon demos, Sacrificial, and also... Feasting the Beast 1987 demo. Holy fucking shit. Yes. I've wanted this for a fucking long time. Like, I wanted the Deicide one as well, like on this on CD for a while. And I had no idea that this was printed on vinyl. And I legit was just kind of fucking around on Hell's Headbangers. And I saw this and I was like, oh. That, like, that's cool. And uh, then I, it was a CD, and then I saw that they had a vinyl version, and I was like, holy fuck, like, hell yeah, I want this, because to me, this is some of the best material that Glenn and the Hoffman brothers ever fucking put out. Especially the Sacrificial 1989 demo. This is some awesome, awesome stuff. Like, I really wish... Like, when bands, you know, reissue, you know, or just re-release earlier material, that they add cool shit like this in. Like, not only is the music incredible, but, like, this comes with this, like, sick fucking poster. I mean, it's, it's obviously a reprint, but still, it's a Morbid Angel flyer from fucking 1989. Like, that's so sick. With fucking Amon, like, oh my god. Can you imagine how sick this fucking show was? Both bands, to me, in their prime. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the first three Deicide records, and I'm pretty sure every other person on the internet will tell you the same thing, if they're a death metal fan, for the most part. I know there's some people that just really, really don't like Glenn Benton, and... I can understand why, I mean, the dude kind of is, uh, I don't know, he's kind of a goon sometimes, but back in the 80s, he seemed pretty cool, I mean, especially on this, like, it's so fucking good, and I love this picture as well, this comes on this cool, like, trans green, like, that matches the demon on the front as well. But, you get your burned upside down cross in, with some nice, like, Florida sand behind it. I think that's Tampa Beach, I, I don't know, it just looks like a beach. But, uh, yeah. Awesome, awesome stuff. That's the Sacrificial demo, and, uh, Feasting the Beast on that side. Holy shit! Now, there's tons and tons of stories behind this demo right here about Glenn Benton walking into, uh, it might have been Road Racer Records, or something like that, because it wasn't Road Runner yet, but he, like, pretty much threw the demo at the dude and said, like, fucking sign us or something. I, I forget who put out the early Deicide albums. I know Earache, uh, started putting out the releases around Scars of the Crucifix. I think that was 2004, but... My DSI history is not the best, but I can tell you the self-titled fucking Legion 
and Once Upon the Cross are pretty much flawless death metal records. And I like Serpents of the Light. I know that's an unpopular opinion, but I like some of the riffs on it, and it was actually the first Deus Deicide album I heard, so I have that kind of connection to it. But on here, Sacrificial 1989, join us, but you have Lunatic of God's Creation, that alone, and the production on here, holy fuck. Again, I forget the whole backstory behind this demo, and like, I don't know if it was recorded at more sound, I mean, it does say, uh, Amon dot M-O... BI, so I, I don't know, but uh, licensed from uh, Amon, and uh, this is released through Buried by Time and Dust Records. I've never heard of this label, but if they release shit like this in this fucking, you know, this is a really high quality package, like from the vinyl material, like just to the photographs and. You, you get lyrics as well. I love that promo photo. It's just, I love Glenn's face. It makes me laugh. Like, but, like, this is something I wanted for a really, really long time. Like, ever since I first heard the demos, I knew that they were, like, something special and that they were fucking pretty much just as good, if not better, than the self titled. It just all depends on your ear. Like, Last night, listening to uh, the six tracks on the um, Sacrificial demo, I was like, holy shit, they, they, this sound, I, I don't know if it just, like, was because I was listening to it on my record player, and I do have some kind of gnarly PA speakers, and if I want to blast something, I can really blast it, but uh, this just sounded so fucking good. Like, yeah, you can hear, like, certain things that you would hear in a demo and stuff and it's sick like it's not like you know filtered but this sounds so good like the, the way the drums sound glenn's vocals just completely sound inhuman and a lot of this piss grave album reminds me of the sacrificial demo like the riffs the way the vocals are done just like over the top like gnarly and it's fucking sick but so you start things off with Lunatic of God's Creation, probably Deicide's best song. And yes, this band, in case you did not know, became Deicide. And uh, yeah, they dropped the Amon title and went with Deicide. To Kill God in Latin. Fucking awesome name. I always thought Deicide was such a, a cool fucking band name. But uh... It's sick, though, that the Hoffman brothers still do shit with this project, and, uh, I haven't heard any of their newer material. I don't know if it's worth listening to, and don't let that throw you off from this fucking demo. You gotta remember, this is the Deicide demos. The 1987 Feasting the Beast demo, and fucking Sacrificial. But, then we have... I keep getting off track, I'm sorry. But, track two, Sacrificial Suicide. Fuck yeah. Crucifixion, Carnage in the Temple of the Damned, Dead by Dawn, and fucking Blasphirian. Those six tracks, like, maybe it was because I haven't listened to early Deicide in a while, but it just resonated with me so fucking much yesterday. I was just, like, cheesing so fucking hard, just headbanging and singing along. I love these tracks, and I think they sound amazing on this demo, like, honestly. And even the Feasting the Beast 87 demo, it's better than half the shit that was out in 1987. Like, seriously, I was fucking two years old, I mean, I wasn't doing anything, but, like, you had Scream Bloody Gore, and, uh, you know, the early Bathory, there's a lot of cool shit out, actually, but this is a really good demo, and, uh, you have Feasting the Beast intro, Sacrificial Suicide again, Day of Darkness, and Oblivious to Nothing. And they're all great sounding, it's just a little lower 
volume wise than the sacrificial and the sacrificial demo, which to me sounds like it's a fucking album. Literally, like it just sounds like a more raw version of Deicide. Like it's tight as fuck. To go into a record fucking studio and just throw your demo tape at the fucking dude in charge of whatever department you would have to go through. I don't know. I think that takes some balls because, like, what if the dude was just like, you know, get the fuck out of my office. Like, I'm not listening to this bullshit. But, I mean, lucky for us death metal heads out there, he listened and we got deicide. I mean, yeah. Their records have been declining in quality for a while now. But, I mean, how many records can you make really seriously? Think about it. How many records can you make hating God? Like, eventually it's like, alright, come on, man. Like, just sing about something else for like a minute. I mean, how many songs are you going to blame God about? Like, but on here is when all this shit was fresh and it sounds fresh too like that's what i like so much about it you can hear how fucking hungry glenn and the boys were and i love it like i really really love being able to like hear that fucking like we're gonna be a fucking signed death metal band and we're gonna put out our best material that holds up fucking all these years later like this is something where somebody was like, what's death metal? I might throw this on and just be like, this is death metal. Sacrificial Suicide is a great fucking starter track. If you're new to death metal, hell yeah, it's a great fucking song. And like, Lunatic of God's Creation as well. Every track on here is absolute fire. And the Hoffman brothers would like to thank their friends and family. Men of few words. I don't know if Glenn got anything for this, but... I mean, there's photos of him and shit, so I'm sure he had to sign some papers over. He looks like fucking Shredder. It was like when I saw Vital Remains on the Dechristianized tour. He had a straight up, like, Shredder suit on, and it was awesome, like... I got to play with Vital Remains twice, and they thanked us in uh, Icons of Evil. If you have that album, they fucked it up and put STP, but it, they meant the right SPT, Skeleton Proof Tanks. That was what my band's name was. I had nothing to do with it. Trust me, I joined the band after they had the name. But I'm telling you right now, Glenn Benton was one of my uh, inspirations vocally on those like early SPT demos and stuff. Like I just really liked the way like he sounded on those early Deicide records, and getting to hear you know where those records I you know pretty much studied like it was my fucking homework like to get the vocal patterns. To where I could do, you know, certain things with my voice to kind of, you know, sound the same as Glenn at times. Like, I remember the uh, Drew, who used to run uh, Translation Lost Records. We did a show with Rosetta, and uh, after we played, uh, Drew comes up to me, and he was running Translation Lost. But we were just getting ready to, like, break up, and I knew he wasn't interested in signing us or anything, but... I remember him saying, like, yo, Chanel, you sound like fucking Benton up there. And I was like, is that an insult? And, like, I started laughing, and he was like, no, no, no. Like, you sounded like fucking Legion. And I, was, I was like, all right, thank you. Like, but this right here is seriously, it's a piece of death metal history. It sounds amazing. It's an awesome fucking demo buy. You get your money's worth. You get your time's worth. Join Amon and fucking enjoy the hell out of Sacrificial and Feasting the Beast. These two demos, absolute Tampa Bay fire. And we've been blasting Philadelphia's filthy piss grave. So fucking good. And also so fucking brutal. But as always, thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Hell!